Hey there, gang. Welcome to the locker room. Matty D here, and, and today's message is who's in your company? Who is in your company? So what I, what I mean by that, I remember when I was young and, and my, my buddies got in trouble and, and, and my dad came up to me, was asking, and, and I was actually innocent at the time, and he assumed that I was guilty. And I said, well, I didn't do it. And he said, well, they're all doing it and you hang around them every day. And here's what I know. Birds of a feather flock together. Birds of a feather flock together. I look back through the years of my life and the phases of my life and some of them were up, some of them were down. And uh, I can't help by kind of looking at the company that I kept during those times. And I would never blame, but a lot of times when you're hanging around someone, their influences start to rub off on you. You ever hang around someone and start being friends with someone and the next thing you know, you, you start talking like them or maybe mim mimicking them, some they say, or you're, you're maybe down south and you pick up an accent or uh, they start to rub off on you. The people that you surround yourself will play a major impact in your life. You know, when you think about the person that you strive to be, what characteristics do you want to be better at? What do, you, what do you see yourself wanting to be better at, getting better? Do you want to be more positive maybe? Uh, do you want to be more success, successful in your business? Do you want to be better in your family life? Do you want to maybe be healthier? Uh, whatever it is, I would encourage you to find some people that are good at the things you want to get better at and attach yourself to them. Grab them, wrap your arms around their leg, grab the back of their coat, whatever it may be. Every time they look around, you should be there. If you're really serious about getting better at it, that's what I would do. I would grab the people that are the best at it and try to buddy up to them. Just from being around them, you will get better. You know, if a baseball player is in a slump hitting, they're not gonna go to someone that strikes out every time at the plate and ask them for advice. So it does not make sense for someone that maybe wants to be more positive to hang around a group of negative people. And I feel so blessed and I'm thankful for the circle of influence God has surrounded me with. My family, my friends, my coworkers. Uh, at the end of the day, no matter where you're at, how happy you are, how great of a day, I encourage you to be grateful as well. You know, what if you woke up tomorrow with only the things that you thank God for today? Think about that. What if you woke up tomorrow with only the things that you thank God for today? What would you have? So watch the company that you keep gang and, and be grateful for everything you have in your life. You do this and I guarantee you, you will be living your very best life. If you've enjoyed and feel the Daily Locker Room has served as an inspiration in your life, why not share it with a friend by sending them the daily message?